What is up, family? It's your boy D coming right back at you with another one. Right now, we're back in the lab. And the STW350 is on the menu. So, this is the outcome of me porting my enclosure for my Peerless by Timpany STW350. That's what this guy is right here. Lord, this thing is heavy. It's massive. Uh, more on that. Right now, I want to just focus on the enclosure. This thing here was sealed at 3.1 cubic foot after displacement. Right now, with the addition to the port, it's roughly 4 cubic foot after displacement. I want you guys to go back and check out the previous video to how I actually added the second addition to this enclosure. And you guys are kind of... This video would make more sense to you if you were to go back and do that. So as of right now, if you guys would just follow my finger right here, you will see a very distinctive line or division right here on the box. So you can tell that this portion of the box is distinctively different from this portion of the box. That's because this portion of the box was actually the sealed version of it. And I added a ported addition, and I'm so glad that I did. For all of you guys out there who do not know the difference or the main difference between a sealed enclosure and a ported enclosure, a ported enclosure is more, it gives you more efficiency, meaning that you don't have a, you don't have to have a ton of power in order to make a subwoofer enclosure sound good or sound loud or to play at its optimum level. Whereas a sealed enclosure, uh, one of the pros to it is its ability to handle power, right? So it's power handling capability. Well, the subwoofer's power handling capability actually increases in a sealed enclosure um, with, of course, the trade-off being that it doesn't get as louder. It would take more power to make it go as loud as it would in a ported enclosure. So some people may ask, well, why would you even go with the sealed enclosure if the ported enclosure is louder? Well, traditionally, the ported enclosure, it does get louder, meaning it's more efficient. It doesn't take more power or as much power to get as loud, but the trade-off for it would be um, of course, would be accuracy. Uh, it would be very booming for one. And secondly, it will not have a flat as, as flat of a response as a sealed enclosure. So sealed enclosures are more accurate and they give you a flatter response across a, a wider range of frequencies. Whereas a ported enclosure, it seems to be, it tends to be quite boomy and it is not as accurate as a sealed enclosure. So in terms of accuracy, what am I talking about? I'm saying with accuracy over here in a sealed enclosure, you get more of a punchy and more on time as far as like group delay or how delayed that beat is that you're trying to, that you're listening to in terms of the other instruments within the spectrum and the musical spectrum in which you are listening to, right? Because any music track is like a recipe of different types of instruments. So you have your string instruments, you have your drum instruments, you have your um, horn instruments, and all these things need to work in a chord. It needs to be one sound, like a band, right? So you have a band filled with all these different groups of, of instruments, but they are, cre they are creating or producing or operating as one sound. Well, when you go port it sometimes, especially if the enclosure is much larger than your manufacturer's, uh, recommendation, you end up losing that accuracy. You don't, in, in terms, in other terms or in other words, I should say, you would have your, you would have your string instruments and your horn instruments, um, being pretty much on beat or tempo, but all of your drum instruments or your, or your heavy horn, like your tuba instruments and things of that nature that plays through the subwoofer would be 
delayed somewhat. You would be able to tell that it's not on tempo with the rest of the music. I think that's the, a good way of putting it. But anyway, I decided to go port it with this, and I'm glad that I did because unlike traditional subwoofers, this subwoofer do not have that issue. There is no group delay with this setup. It is no group delay. This is close. This is very close, actually, to what the, the manufacturer actually rep uh, recommended. The only difference, one of the only difference being the port sizes. They actually wanted you to go with, I believe, four inch ports. And these ports right here are actually three inches. So, <clears throat> but hey, there's no port noise there. I like the outcome of it. I'm not complaining at all. I love this driver. This may be one of the last drivers that I ever purchased, to be honest with you. And if I can afford it later on down the road, I will actually get another one of these drivers right here. It is very, very efficient. And the reason being is because of the exaggerated parameters of it. But we'll, I actually went over that in another video. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more about this guy, just go back and look at some of the videos that I've already done on it. And you'll see exactly why I'm so excited about it. But anyway, just wanted to give you guys a once over of this. I am getting ready to carpet this. And I wanted to just kind of like bring you guys along on the journey to let you guys see the before and after of it. And right now, I'm going to take a quick snaps of this. This is going to be my before and after shots. And another snap, I mean, even though I'm not going to be doing anything with the bracing, right? You're not going to carpet the inside of the, of the enclosure. But just to give you guys another shot of the bracing and what that stuff looks like on the inside, pretty cool. Another shot of the port down there. I was going to paint the port. I may do that in a future video, but for right now, I'm going to leave it just the way it is. I mean, it's not like it's on display or anything. It's in my trunk, you know. But anyway, uh, that's it for right now. I'll get back with you guys with Movie Magic. And the next time you see this, it'll actually be carpeted.